a little bit ago, I climbed the bucket stop here out at Lily Mountain with my dual Rebo lead rope solo sport climbing setup. This is uh, kind of the gist of how I set it up. I have a specialized harness, but you can do this with a regular harness too. I do my two Rebos. I connect those to my main point. And then I specifically have a backup attachment uh, point because this is more or less a rope access harness. But uh, you can just attach both of these to your uh, to your belay loop. And then I manage my cash loop with a shunt. Uh, that way I can have both ropes cash managed at the same time. And then I also clip a quick draw below both of my revos so that way I don't get any twists and tangles uh, between my cash loop and the sharp end of my rope because uh, that can be an absolute nightmare trying to manage that and um, if you get a twist it's really hard to get it out so make sure that those twists never go into your rope in the first place. I left my bottom bolt anchor and my first bolt upwards pull in when I did the on-site. And this is actually the second uh, the second attempt. So I, as you saw at the beginning, I got the on-site, but then I fell on the second time climbing the route to get the second camera angle, which is kind of interesting because it's really easy to get lost on this route, surprisingly. But you can see I have a steel oval. It's the Petzl Oxen uh, with a 16 kilonewton gate rating. So that uh, helps with any kind of uh, cross loading or gate loading issues uh, that you might run into on the first bolt. Now, here at the second bolt, I am using a Edelrid belay carabiner that uh, has the two, it's the perfect size for the two, two ropes in the two rope system that I use. So these two 8.9 millimeter ropes, uh, they're, not, they're not so big that it forces the, the little mini gate open and they're not so small that they just kind of slide through. So it's really good for holding anchor carabiners in the correct orientation and also for holding rope weight to make sure that I'm not accidentally back feeding my 
revos when I climb taller routes. It's not really an issue on a route this short. It's only like 45 feet or something like that. But um, it it is uh, important for for longer routes to to keep keep rope from running through the revos. I like having two revos for low to the ground cruxes and cruxes on short routes because even a modified revo takes a little bit of time to catch and I can pre-lock one of my revos. When I pre-lock the revo, I don't have that spin up time and potentially damaging the pin essentially that stops the Revo and causes it to lock. And uh, I inspected my Revo after the fall that I had, and it had very little damage. Um, so that that was that was a pretty good, you know, pretty good way to do things. I think uh, pre locking the Revos, if you do have a, you know, a low to the ground crux, you risk decking, basically just pull the amount of rope that you think you'll need and give it a lock and you're good to go. And it is kind of nice having the second Revo just kind of always free. Basically, I treat that like a rope access backup.
Let's talk a little bit about setting up my rappel uh, for cleaning the route. Uh, since, you know, I have the two tails that are being tracked up towards me, but the middle of the rope is actually on the ground at the anchor. So I remove my shunt cash loop holder. Then I pull up the tails. I get to the end of the tails and I feed them through. Now I used to tie a EDK Euro Death Knot, but I like the way that a Alpine Butterfly uh, joiner knot uh, loads a little better than the EDK, and it never gets caught. It's it's about as flat as the EDK when it's uh, coming down, so it doesn't really get caught on anything. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, that's just kind of my joiner knot of choice. So then uh, I go ahead and just take the revos off. You can you can feed them through if you're almost at the end of the rope. But if you're kind of far from the end of the rope, you just you just take them off, put them back on the other end. So now I basically flip the, uh, the sharp end of my rope. And then I just put everything back where it goes. I'll take off my personal anchor system and then sit into everything and head on down. 